In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Do not forget that you had no Christ and were excluded from membership of Israel, aliens with no part in the covenants with their promise. You were immersed in this world without hope and without God. But now in Christ Jesus, you that used to be so far apart from us have been brought very close by the blood of Christ. For he is the peace between us and has made the two into one and broken down the barrier which used to keep them apart, actually destroying in his own person the hostility caused by the rules and decrees of the law. This was to create one single new man in himself, out of the two of them, and by restoring peace through the cross, to unite them both in a single body and reconcile them with God. In his own person, he killed the hostility. Later, he came to bring the good news of peace. Peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near at hand. Through him, both of us have in the one spirit our way come to the Father. So you are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all the saints and part of God's household. You are part of a building that has the apostles and prophets for its foundations and Christ Jesus himself for its main cornerstone. As every structure is aligned on him, all grow into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too in him are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. The Lord speaks peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord speaks peace. 
the Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, See that you are dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at table and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes, or in the third, but happy those servants if he finds them ready. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We had our first whole school mass here in St John's this morning. Now we couldn't obviously fit the whole of the school in the church. We had um, class 10, a mixture of year five and six children. And they were sat, 30 of them, in a nice semicircle in front of the altar. And we joined the rest of the school through Microsoft Teams, who were in their bubbles back at school. It wasn't the sort of whole school mass that we were used to, but at least it was something. And I shared with the children um, a memory that I had about making sure that we are dressed and ready for action with our lamps lit. We are called to be ready to receive the good news. We are called to be active in our service. But sometimes we're not that ready and sometimes we slip and I shared with them a story about when I was at school and we went into the French class and I noticed that the teacher wasn't there. And what do all children do when the teacher isn't there? They misbehave. And the children asked the children this morning, did they used to misbehave? Did, would they misbehave? And they all went, yeah, we do. And I said, the teacher's name was Mrs. Bowen Davis. But I had a nickname for her, Mrs. Bowen Arrow. So I said, where is Mrs. Bowen Arrow? And she answered me behind the door. She was, she was right there. She heard exactly what I said. One of those moments where we didn't, I wasn't ready for action, where we weren't, I wasn't focused on the task at hand. And the church invites us at this time of the year as we come towards the end of our liturgical year to make sure that we are dressed and ready for action. We do that in our service of others. We do that in our prayer. We do that in our coming along to celebrate the sacraments of the church. And we do it in our service in the midst of our lives. Let us be ready for action.
So let us stand and offer our prayers of intercession this night. Let us pray for the church, that it may always be a beacon of hope in our world. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for our world and its many needs. Let us pray that nations will work together in defeating the COVID virus, that nations may work together to bring about peace amongst the nations. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that as we reflect on the Gospels, we may always be ready for action in service of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for those who are sick in mind or in body. We pray that they may be given the comfort that they need at this time. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time. We pray for families who grieve and mourn. We pray for the Brethren family whose funeral took place today at Semington. We also pray for Thomas Hughes who has recently died. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And let us ask for the prayers of Mary, Queen of Heaven, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make all our prayers, those that we have spoken and those which are deep within our hearts, through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through to the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord, for the grace and glory of the Lord. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, 
we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Father Rodell, for whom we offer this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <coughs>
for those still unable to join us for Mass at this time, for those shielding and joining us on YouTube and the live stream. We pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thank you.